Well, here we go. It is time for the playoffs. It is about to be wild card weekend, and the regular season has finished up. Last week I went nine and seven. Lots of surprises in the games, which brings my final regular season prediction record to one hundred seventy six ninety five and one. And now it is time to take a look at these playoffs. Let's first take a look over at the AFC side. Getting that one seed is the Titans. They'll get the bye. And our matchups are going to be the Raiders taking on the Bengals, Patriots versus Bills, and then the Steelers versus the Chiefs. So we had a couple teams that barely missed the cut. Those being the Colts. I guess they really can't win in Jacksonville. Dolphins, which they were already previously eliminated. And the Chargers, who could have kept the tie, but that wasn't their, well, kind of their fault. They could have kept the tie, and they would have also been in and knocking out the Steelers, which would have been better. So let's get into the actual games themselves. First, we head over to Cincinnati, Ohio, where the Bengals take on the Raiders. The Raiders do have quite a bit of momentum. Very good on offense, for sure, and as well on defense. But the same can be said for the Bengals as well. Their offense is absolutely fire. Probably the best receiving core in the league and probably the best duo of quarterback to receiver, Burrow and Chase. They just go hand in hand like absolutely crazy. Their defense can also work good as well. It's just that I think they're starting to finally kind of get over their inconsistencies and now they're going to be able to pull something off here with these playoffs because of that since they're at home I am going to pick the Bengals to win this game here and now we go over to Buffalo where these teams will face off for a third time that is Bills versus Patriots now the game's kind of swapped in terms of like places like the away team won so Patriots did win in Buffalo last time but the Bills won in New England so they're facing a third time in Buffalo however I don't think the Patriots are gonna have it I feel like the Bills are honestly the better team right now and I really can't say that home helps them that much it can but I feel like for the sole purpose that they can really get a good offense going especially with Allen and the defense as well and I think the Patriots do have the better defense it's just that they just really like running that ball way too much they're not using Mac Jones enough I don't think it's going to capitalize to them that much which is why I think the Bills are going to win this game and on the last AFC wildcard matchup, we got the Steelers taking on the Chiefs. Steelers decided to sneak in there after the Chargers and Raiders decided to not tie. And the Chiefs are hot fire as usual. I think for the sole purpose of this being an arrowhead, this should be a win for the Chiefs, but it could go either way. I just feel like they're the general way better team right now, so... I'm going to get pick Kansas City. Heading over to the NFC side. At the 1C, we got the Packers. And then at the number 2, the Bucks. And the number 3, your Dallas Cowboys. And then at number 4, the Rams. Right behind them. And the ball cards is the Cardinals and the 49ers. And then, unfortunately, that last spot was given to the Eagles. And barely missing out was the Saints. So... How do these wildcard play off? Yet again, divisional rivals playing off each other in the playoffs is always nice. Cardinals versus Rams. It comes to my occurrence that Watt will be back for the Cardinals. I don't know about Hopkins. If he is, this could be a completely different game. But I think the Rams were just kind of stumbling right now. I think towards the near end of the game, they realized they won the division by the Cardinals losing. 
to the Seahawks, which is concerning for them as well. Both these teams lost at home to kind of lower end divisional teams. This game is a toss up. But give me the Rams to win this one. And then we got the 49ers taking on your Dallas Cowboys. In AT&T, the Cowboys putting up another 50 spot last week. And the 49ers coming back huge against the Rams. I think what needs to happen here is the Cowboys need to keep using their defense well. They've been using their defense really well as well, but they need to cover Debo and Kittle. And they also have to watch out for Bosa with, on their O-line. He's going to definitely be rushing in hard. These two teams have solid defenses. I think Cowboys have the slightly better one. And when it comes to offense, I think they're equal. Like, Debo is equal to uh, Lamb. And then, like, Kittle, I think, is honestly equal to Cooper. So it's going to be interesting how this plays out. I think Dallas needs to definitely optimize they're running a little bit, but I think they can just make clutch plays by Dak throwing to CD and Coop like they've been all year and it's been working out well. So this is going to be close. But I do think the Cowboys could pull this off. And then the last wild card matchup, we got the Eagles taking on the Bucks in Tampa. And if I saw this like a few weeks ago, I'd be like, this is an easy sweep. Absolute demolishment by the Buccaneers, but now the Buccaneers are starting to slip a little bit as they've been showing. They've been keeping games close against lower end teams, but they managed to pull it off really nicely against the Panthers while the Eagles are trying to keep it competitive, and they definitely could. This, I think, will also be another close game. Like, it's the playoffs, they should be close games. Like, they, you can't expect huge demolishments. So, we'll see how this one plays out, but give me the Buccaneers to win this game, which, weirdly enough, has all the home team winning, but that is just the way I see it. So, after the wild card pulls out, we'll pick all the divisionals and so on and so forth. Good luck to all teams. Go Cat Boys. Adios.